We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation, how you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. You can move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Alternately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. To move towards the footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera towards it. Then hold down the left mouse button as well to cause the character to run forward. You can left click on an object to select it. Once the footlocker is selected, left click on it again to perform the default action and open it.
Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown, but don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. Left-click my portrait now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Left-click to target the door, then left-click it again. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the brick. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. You can access your journal, map, and other important menus by clicking on the menu icons in the upper right corner of the screen. You can use the mouse to switch between the menus listed on the tabs at the top of the screen. must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! Got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now, but to use in the lower right of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can select items from this menu by using the mouse. Left-click the icon you want to use to activate that power or item. 
Clicking on the arrows above and below the icon will cycle to other powers or items in. The first icon of the action menu is for friendly force powers. The second is for medical items such as med packs and antidote. The third icon is for miscellaneous items such as stimulants and energy shields. The fourth icon is for mines. First, left, note, you just remember.
Dark Jedi! This fight is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help! Now that must be... bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon, too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Your melee weapon is made using a cortosis weave. It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Click on the character record menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Then follow the instructions. Thank you. 
Bastil is not here on the bridge. They must have... The Sith want Bastil alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stop...
something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. First, make sure you have a stealth field generator equipped on your belt. You can't use your stealth skill without one. Use the mouse and click on the stealth button to activate it. The generator will wrap you in a cloaking effect so you can sneak past the Sith. Just be careful you don't get too close, or I might notice someone's there. I'm here. behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off! This is Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him.
some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later.
Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Vassila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Vassila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Vassila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. 
It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers, but that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never ending war for control. And the undercity is. Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. I'll tell you whatever. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? From what I... Well, that's all I... Me? But with all that, I've never... My... You're the one who wanted to know more about me. Well, this is it. This is what I am. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... I, I know, don't worry about it, I just, I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions, I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later.
Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Chawana bota ayua tahonga cha kanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bungwa li agando do na no chut chut muksha pa pampa pola wana chitne bamuli slemo poda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes uba patu kochi tom nong bong chang nung yang tom katok smak delia. Tonghaitwamchijumpa on a kun bez ching palamule, tunking ba nunotak, tuk nincha tu kunne mule rabes. Chi gratu loda pograshi on neon kumba chin tomba mochuba. Loda nita kun, ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Pograsha kun tijaka um. Chupta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo kachichu ita bodunga tolba bank wale uganda naru chuchut mogisha punga bola wana chikne pamule slimo poda da nanga kumbist mule rabes and i can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade that's why the republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat
Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachi chu ita bondunga. Dolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga bola wana chikne. Pamule slimo poda da nanga kumbist. Mule rabes chi gratu loda pograshi onne un compa chin tombo mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tutung. Pograsha kun tijaka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jid bungarantang. Tolpa da pongwale gandu nangu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bona nai kuchu. Hawaga boska chocola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Tonking ba nuno dek. Tuk nin chatu kun de mule rabes. Tong abog sha um nino. Wanga kun bis king balemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi idatwana. Kava volpa muji kumana. We ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetik. Ah, shatung ni patoga. Wano kuspe ching palamule donke. Tag bis tu pongo koki bat panka. Ching palachiska mule tunarana nu prata. Tungo si cha tuma wamama tus keba toma. Nishai Julorchai Kinkuno Bulera Chikun Chanchak Bulara Umrao Chiska Duchi On Chuban Jishka Yanki Titoke Gratun Kun Chichakun King Kachachonobra Bogra Wala Nutumba Cha Nechi Chuna Chubaching Lorda Itakun Witam Boragatong, mulira ashang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igrutu haga jijiwa, wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. Mucho shak pa khat. Ki ye no no da ma pao le rachikun. Ye kukuno no ba mu le rachikun. Ta kum ju stak miki grabul mogo. Ka chichu i ta po dunga. Tolba bank wale o ganda naru chuchut. Mole sha punga bola wana jik ne. Runda di ho dunga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nuno dek. Tuk nin cha tu kun de mule rabes. Achuta wonga kun...
Na praka donko sercha chupa panki. Kava dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shan nu yang. Hey there, what, 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 what we are walking? I just clean those floors. My name's Kadir, I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? You ever thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment? Hmm, you look like an off worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. You just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, and, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can... Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, and, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're... Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Don't know how much... I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Thank you. 
A, a copa ce e copa? Ajut! On it. Done. Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden.
Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started... Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus.
The Sith are the new authority here on Talos. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Talos is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Yes, what's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. Which, the fact that I'm all ears, or the beautiful? You have something you'd rather I call you about? I might consider it, but what are you gonna call me in exchange? I like the first part of that. I'm a bit more partial to the most handsome pilot in the galaxy. What do you think?
Well then, I guess gorgeous we'll just have to do until then. Well, but kidding aside, I bet you're not about to give up on those questions of yours. Are they really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions, it's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people on the for blood. In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Smuggler? I should have guessed. Isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, though, and I hate surprises. I expect you, right? I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? for action to talk.
Yes, what? I'm all. Which, the fact that I'm. I might consider it, but what are you going to call me an ex. I like the first part of that. Well, then I guess gorgeous will just. I'm kidding aside. No, no, I don't have a problem. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't happen. Neither was I. We lost. We didn't choose that. Come to think of it. A smuggler. You were the only one. Not to mention that Basilisk. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things... I expect you're right. I've got... Look, it has nothing to do with you, person. And no one... Okay. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. They say you can get shot just walking in the streets down there. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. On it. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know?
Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcan gang, <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcans now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davik's men got there first. Oh, Davik! I have to pay him a pre Careful where you say that! Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of Terrace as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. Oh, you're one of the... Oh, and stay... Good day to you. Welcome to... Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in... Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you.
Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You've given me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Can't you see I'm busy with my... I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if 
they hadn't already used it because of a raccoon infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but... I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Under City. The Lower City has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy. I don't know. The Undercity is a wasteland, crawling with flesh-eating mutants called rat ghouls. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. I am quite busy maintaining... Republic escape pods? I... No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. The Sith were already here, asking these... I am quite busy. Republican. The Sith... I am quite... Of course.
On it. Done. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case any... I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakgul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Well, for that, I hate to amend. Thank you for keeping my secret. 
I only wish there was more I could do, but medical science has only come so far. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Okay. Oh, come on. I prefer... Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look. Hmm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me? Or some off-world stra- Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghouls- Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. On it. Damn! On it. Damn! What?
I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape. have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have of May I... The Taurus Tourism Board has issued... May I be of any... Then it... What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to the lower city as you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're light enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Says the Sith are nothing but bullies. They don't look like a bully. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. What's this? Another off. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox and friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet!
You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with... It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to... I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization. Oh, I'm in the wrong business. Davik's got a piece of everyone's action. I should have been a crime lord too. <laughs> spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects us. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ratwana. Don kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana pokon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance are running out of style. Kin chopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no no. China pala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Kin kun shi kai kachin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mule reji. Ching pala niska mule or tun rata tigin pot drunko. Desar cha doma wana kundatama. Kuyami, juo tik chita na patogta. Ya fulke gogala jiji. Kawana bora atu gawa, kanki do rakun, watimi alabola. Tangabun shan om nang, wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra, choni yun tun jiji ida duana, kawa vulpa mu. 
Tanga book shot um not long. Kin kun shin shin kin nikin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chichi alduana kava fulpa muli kumana. Kava dumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shanu yang china pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabas. Hachu ap ka china. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana. Don kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialiar monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana kwana pokon. Ni bajoni yo la wish. Dopa yumas pasen la ti monkoto. Can chop a chow with tea chop twist yun kun. What to yama kama wuna henak neck? Bugra shak kunti chi wa un kipuna na bon sha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya moka pata. Kipuna bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata, ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana bokon. Ni bajoni yo la wish, dopa yumas pasen lapti nun gotu. Ken chopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. What to yama kama wuna henak nek? Bugra shak kunti chi wa un chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. Kipuna na bon sha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya moka pata. Tangabun sha. Tanga book sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chichi alduana kava volpa muli kumana. Hachu apang tanga kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik tong chu chun ke nemolek ra best uf mala ni bokurk bona na kachu kicha badwang Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra ka kin chak nawa gawa bakon. Donk kiba nukunek. Tanga bok sha um nak nong. Mucha shaka paka. Yi ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chong. Tanga. Hachu a punky. Tanga bu sha. Randy.
Pachu a punky. Tangabunch. Kag. We team and bone rank thong. Muli ra on shanturing um ni padoga wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu hakuji je. Patu yama kama wuna henak neck. Hakuji kopa. Gino mula rak gampiak. Slim jo pwan wandwana. Tangabunch. Run the each Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku Yuma Wama Nibo Lord Genchopa Chawi T Chok Twis Yun Kun Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Bugra Shak Kunti Chiwa M Chawa Dong Abuk Shami no Nok Kakin Cha Na Kwat Na Bon Kon Wana Kumbes Chi Pala Mulek Tongki Pa Nak No Nek to Nick Don Jun Jun Tonga Book Sha Um Nag Nong Kin Kun Shin Shin Kin Nikin Kun Na Bule Mule Raji Kun Chuni Yun Ni Gigi Alduana Kava Volpa Muli Kumana China Pala Mule Tonki Ba Non Tontek Tun Ni Cha Ton Kun Ne Mule Brabast Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku Yuma Wama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi
On it. Damn! Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Ready. Don't bother me. I'm... On it. Damn! I'm here.
Is you one of the Sith? My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. You don't look like a bully. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Who said that? What's going on out there? Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach this civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Thank you. 
stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. A plague spreads through our streets. Listen to me, people. That is a Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazakh player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quick crowding my gambling table. If you ever wish to test yourself against
sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. Why do you poor folk always smell so... Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. This Teresian ale is fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Don't bother me. I you aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the inner city looking for the Republic. I'm not here to chat. I just finished a long shift at the military base, and now I'm just looking to relax. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gelrude was born. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drugs. You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet. I mean, that quarantine must be tough in the off-world they're stuck here. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlong Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Dead Eye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Galan Two Fingers. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. Oska,
Cada foda! Vibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gioca con molera, in con jo pesha, no va molera ji. Tenio tora ji, ai tapia, mula una chimek, va molera si mo anga kubistin. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Akoche Kopa. Chino Molera King Paja. Snima Poitlana. Akoche Kopa. Chino Molera King Paja. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger!
a mysterious stranger has won. But really, are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing is it news? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in... Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Oh, well, okay. I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie, but Deadeye's a joke. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer, if you want to step up to the big leagues. I'll show you what it's like to... Yes, what's... You got it. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this canteen. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gurlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gurlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Eh, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Me? Oh, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. My area of expertise is pretty much limited. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the dual rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols into the ring. One walks out a winner, the other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make a... My... 
Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Goodbye, stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Talis dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Ah! 
Chachis Kadomputa Kasabubaka Ho 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 Mukio Kakonbolera King Konjo Peshok Nova Moleraji Kareyon Toranchi Aitati Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Well, I would like to help you out, but I can't arrange the meeting for free, and I'm afraid your charms would have little effect on the Rodian bodyguards backstage. If you manage to come up with the credits, just come back and see me. I'll be more than happy to arrange for you to meet the band. Until then, please enjoy the music. The exotic beauty returns. Hello again, my dear. Have you changed your mind? You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare opportunity to meet a celebrity before they were famous. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well, then. I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. The exotic...
Excellent. Wait here while I go set it up with my contact. I'll give him your credits, then I'll come back out and take you to meet the band. Was that Jurgen I just saw you talking to? Do you know where he went? You fell for his story too? Well, I got some bad news for you, sister. He ain't coming back. I gave him 20 credits last week, and he just disappeared with it. When I tried to get backstage to look for him, nobody even knew who he was. He can't set up a meeting with the band. He's just some sleazy con artist spinning lies. I doubt he'd be dumb enough to show up here again. He knows I'm looking for him. And if I ever find him, he's gonna pay for ripping me off. With interest. The exotic beauty return. You s that's too bad. Now that quarantine must be tough in the off world. They're stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. Check out those Twi'lek. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. Mucha shaka panka, yi ki kun no ba mula draki chi. Ready. Mucho shaka pa. Leave me alone. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. People are always bugging me for my auto print. Comes with the territory. You survive over 100 death matches and people tend to see you as something of a legend. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might... Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. You sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you.
Listen to me! Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big... You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Dumpa Kunba Yia Moka Pata Kanai Kachu Ninkin Kunoba Muli Rachi Gun Tongna Bunja Nyunyan Kaba Wulpa Mulchi Kamana Ichuta Nun Takisa Kimba Nikcha Loda Kun Bona, kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata. Jiyoka ku tumpa kulpa iya. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here. Hmm? What? Scrunky to pets nemo, chi ita kangi chan la kilikon, kimba muli rat wana ji, kimba tangi tuama ji, human ak un ikatune, chan muli muli ratong pa akiwak er aita kangi chan la kupornibo, chi wi aita ka chong chi cha, agi inko tu. What? What? Chiwi Aita ka chong chi cha Agi uko tune Si on ne un combat in tombo mochuba, lo da ni da kun, i da patisa batua kacha tu tong, bangra sha kun ti cha ko umma, chuba kaha chapa chawa chuish yunku, jodo jid bunga ranta. Ka chi kun i da hao donga, i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun, si mo po donar di ho donga ku kabe. Ka chi kun i da hao donga, i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Si mo po donar di ho donga ku hunka be. Tol pa da pong wale kan do nangu chut chut. Ka va dung ku pili o bo tenya, bo na nai kuchu. Ha waga bos ka chokola, jeto ba do wana ni di bo bo. Tong na bung sha ni nung ya, Tung patukas magtalea. Tung abog siya umino. Wanga kumbis. Buitam 
Boragatong, mulira a siyang turong ni na potata tuwanga chun tise. Igruto ka nga jijiwa. Wata juma wana hu wama hulhu nateng. Manaman atota. Haki jukrata bola shui chungatong. Chung kung no bunka mule ra kung kile. Kung kile no ba. Watende chukolo uno uno ku mule ra. Watana wama mule ra. Kenjun jupa shak. No wa bule mule ra ji. Joni tun turji chiwi itato. Bola una dichek. Palamure slimo wanga kun bisching. Tam boragatong muli ra a siyang turong ni na potata tuwanga chun tise igruto ka nga jijiwa wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek ke puna puna na ay chatu chingba muli ra tawana toh chingba no kunik kamatumpa ku peliano mo makata Wanga kubist, tiabol mulia. Ka ching chana na wanga pa kon. Kaba dupa ku pelia on ponantea. Kaba dupa ku palia mukapata. Ponana chaku. I kung kono pule marachiko. Tung na mong siya nun ya. Kaba bol pa mulje kuna. Kuya mi juz chikata na patoga ya. Ronda. Yikukumo. Chanchak bulara. Umrao chis kaduchi. On chubanji. Tag bis chupongko kuki magpaka. Ching pala chis ka mule. Tunarana nu prata. Tungko si cha tuma wamama tus. Kebo Toma, Nisha Julorcha, Kingu no Bule Rajiko, Achuta, Wonga Kurbis Tulpi Kiku Yana, Dong Patugas Bakteleya. Ronda di Hotonga Kun Hankabi, Wana Kun Bez. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrut. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garuk in the Upper Cantina. He's looking to retire from the game, so he might sell you his deck. He'd probably even throw in a free lesson for you. Just come back and speak to me when you get your deck. Go away. Chiska Nichu, Kimba Muli Rab wanna G. Kimba no kun mixat abog, kakin cha nawa bakaon, tung abashun ni chun chi. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kurpa yiya moka paata! Chi yoka ku tumpa kurpa yiya! One. Oska! Chiska Nichu! Da hupa botenya go gigi piti! Kipuna! Kava tumpa ku pailea muka bata. Jiyoka ku tumpa ku pailea. Two. Jiyoka ku. Jimba muli ra duana ji. Ku yami juski chita nai. Upa maska duana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tune hudu. Rananu prata dungu shirkasha. Jum da apike. Three. This 
game war is getting out of hand. Fulkers aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. You hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with a life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. You're threatening me? I work for Davik Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba muli rad wana ji! Kaba volpa murji guma ya! Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. 
Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be... You going? Yeah. This dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. ชีอิตาคังคีตองอิตวามาจีฮิวแมนอาคุงอิกะตุเนชีอิตาคังคีชานาคิลิคอนชีวะแอปไอตาคังคีเจ้ามาโซจีโนโมริระปะโตกะย
ki muli ra kun ki tong hi dua ma a ki sin ko tu ne king ba no kun nik dot ta patisa patisa uba baska dua na chi chop pa muska king ba ni cha lo da kun ki yu ma bat ma ya u no wish ka king cha na wa ba ka on Kun muli ras limo poi wanga tok kimba no kun nexan chachiska topa na oto bokasa kakin cha na wa bakaon bagwa shon kontimachi tum What? I'm here. I saw Davik's new starship at this. I heard Davik's hired a Mandalorian mercenary to work for him. I didn't know there were any of them left after the man. She's got need you. Kimba muli rabu. I saw Kalo Nord in the tap room. He's a legend in this business. I wonder if he'd give me an autograph. What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia is over, so we. I don't want. To... I've got. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the plus. I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant, but even the Evan Hawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planets around it. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons, and those codes are locked safely away in the military. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money, but even with his underworld connections, he can't get his. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Hate to see a pretty lady leaving, but you ain't the only girl in this place. Ka chi kun ida haldonga, i king kuno ba mulera chi kun. Chi gratu no da bograshi oni un compa chin tonno mutuba no da nita kun ida patisa batua kacha tu tong bograta kun just tak miki grabul mogo kachi chu ida bodunga tonno bank wale oganda naru chuchut mogo sha punga bola wana chikne Mule slimo poda da da na ga kubis mule rabes chi gratu no da bograshi oni un compa chin tondo mochuba no da ni da kun i da patiso batua kacha tu tong bograsha kun ti ja ko um chuba ka chopa chawa chuish yunku jodo Kamodu pa ku palia mu kapata Buda na chaku I kun kono pule marachiko Dung na bung sya nun ya Kama volpa mulje kuna Chancha pulara Umra uchiska duchi On chuba nijiska yanki Titoke gratun Kun chicha kun King kacha chono bra Bogra wala nu tumba. Shangji locha wana wama? Kava volpa mulji kumuna. Kinchun chish. Kava dumpa kapalia mona pata. Bona na kachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun. Tong na bun shan. Ti umpa do punta krita. Ak ti konto ona chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan tu pro bok wala no bok cha ni chi kon chuba kin lota ita kun.
Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ratwana. Tong kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Katanga bunshan om nong. Wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida dwana. Kava vulpa mulji gumana. We team and bone rank thong. Muli ra on shanturing um ni patoga wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Kin kun shi kakachin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun palamuna reji. Ching pala niska mule or tun rata tigin po dranko. The search at doma wana kunda tama. Randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku. Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi ching. Ta kumju stach miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tulba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga bola wana chine. Runda di hotunga kun hanka bi. Can chop a chawi, tick chop twees, loon coon, but to yama kama wuna henak neck, bugra shak, kunti chiwa um chawa, dong a book shami no nok, bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak noa gawa bakon, donk kiba nukun neck, tong a book sha um nak nong. Pongo koki mag baka, ching pala chiska mule tunarana lu prata tungko si cha tuma wama. Pudu tunirama na praka dongko searcha kachu patangi bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bakon dong kiba nukunek. Shang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize igrutu haga jijiwa wata juma wana hu wama hu hu na tek. We team and bone rank thong muli ra on shang turing um ni patoka wanga chun zite. Donga, ye king kuno ba mule ra chikun. Spimo po dona rundi ho dunga ku mkabe. Shag ji kina lorcha watam wana. Kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ba mula ra jikun. Ucha ha dunga ya fulki. Cha chiska to punta kasa baka ba na uto. Moka ho dang ya fulki. Cha chiska to punta kakaspaka, ba no oto. Ta kumju stach miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tulba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogi sha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo pudadada nanga ku. Jiji hakuji lorcha kinkuna. Ba mule rigjikun. Chuchu tu la poto tu punto casa da bonk. Ai da haudanga o alaganto da naga tu chuchu mukiti chokai. Ti un patrita. We team and bon rank thong. Muli ra un shanturing un... Kuyami 
Jus Chikata na patoga ya fulki goko Kipona Tona na kajo Kimba mule ratu anda Kauhupa boten ya kochocho pite Kachicho naitha odunga Kaukum jus tak mike grabri mogo Tulpa da vukwa ya gando dana Rundi hautunga ton kimba nan konge Wana gumbes Cinta ya muri kunung kabi tuk mentang jo kunne muli rabes. Jibe dua nami bobo tung namun shanun. Tawis mana wis tung jo nia hakono nia ayununase. Chichi mui bedwa nai tawish muli ne bobo ne uba na tu la boda ya mi chusa ayo no pis tu la chio kaku. Tonga buksha ume nong kara voi pamuji uma na ba muli ra. Chuni yun tun ji ji ai ta duana Kawa vo pa mu chue Kuma na Labo da na wen kies ma to na Yin kin slim mo Ji yo ka kol mo le ra Kien kun jo pe sha No ba mo le ra ji Chuni yun to ra ang ji ai ta dia Mula una chinek, ba mule rasli moanga Ka chicho naitha odunga Tau kum justak mike grabri moga Tur pada vunkwa ya gando da naga chuchut Moga asham plumpa, boya wa jibe dua nani bobo Tung mamun sha nun yang Much Tawis mana wis Tungjo ni ahak kono Mule rayo numase Chichi mui bedwa nai tawis Mule de bobo ni Uba na tu la boda Ya mi jusa I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that Long as we don't end up on the lesson Tumi rana no prata dunkyo Sercha toma toma Tawa wui pa mulji Kumana, kin kon shashi kin, ne kin kon no la mule la ji kun. Wana kumbes, chintaya nuli, tunera na no pwata dunko. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Ka chi chun nai tha o dunga, tau kum justak mi ke grabri moga. Tur pada vunkwa ya gando da naga chuchut Moga sham plumpa Bola wa na chikni Ba mul slimo poda na wanga kumbis Muli radest Rundi hautunga tong kimba nang konge Wana kumbes jinta ya mui kunung kabi Tuk nintang jo kunne muli rabes Ka chicho naitha hautunga Tau kum justak mike grabri moga Tur pada vunkwa ya gando da naga chuchut Moga sham plumpa Bola wa na chikni Ba mul slimo po da na wanga kumbis Muli radest Kipona Ona na kajum Kimba muli radwana Ta wupa bo tenya go chuchu piti Tunira na nu prata dunkyo Sercha doma toma Kawa wui pa mulji kumana 
Kim Kun Shashi Kin, Nikin Kun Nova Mulera Jikun, Wama Kumbes Chimala Muli, Punera Nano Pata Dunko, Punera Nano Pata Dunko, Sacha Doma Toma, Nava Ripa Muli, Kumana Kim Kun Shashi Kin. Nikin kun nova mulera jikun Wama kumbes chimpala muli Punera nano pwata dunko Chiyoka kun mulera Kim kun jopesha nova mulera ji Chani yotora nchi aitapia tava pudu Punera nano pwata dunko Secha ito apan ki Rundi hau tonga Rundi hau Chibet wa nani bob Rundi Punira nanu prata tunkyo Secha toma toma Kala wipa mulji Kumana Kinkon shashi ken Neken kol nova mulera jikun Wama kumbes chimpala muli Punera nano pwata dunko Tawish mana wish Tongjo ni ahak konong Mulera yonunaze Chichi muibudwa nai tawish Muli ne bohone Uva natu la boda Yami jusa Ayo hono pis tuul laji yokaku Kala tumpa kul piye ya moka bata Jiska ni chok Yinkin kono bamulri raji kum Tug na wun shamun jang Kala vulpa mulji kumana
Toma, toma! Na lado e pra merge, o maná! Quem concha se quem? A cote copa! Que não molerá quem paja! Tá te chonda e fao dunga! Tau cum justak me que grabe moga! Tulpada munko e agando da naga chuch la bula na rinkis matoma! Inkin slimba podona mulera chikun! No va a rundi a tunga kuhun kabi! Rundi a tunga tunkin badan kunke! Wana kumbes chimpa ya mui kuhun kabi! Tuknen tanjo kunne muli rabes la bula na rinkis matoma! Inkin slimba podona mulera chikun! No va a rundi a tunga kuhun kabi chiyo katol molera. Kien kunjo pesha no va molera ji. Chari yotora anchi aitatia. Mula una chimek va molera. Tum. Ki pona. Pona na kacho. Kimba mule ratwana, ta upa bote niago chocho piti. Kava dumpa kulpa hiya mokata, rundi hau tunga tung kimba nang kongkek. Wana kumbes, chimpa ya mui kunung kabi. Tuk nintang jo kune mule rabes. Kati cho nai thao dunga Tau kum justak mi ke grabe moga Tol pada mung kwe ya gando da naga chuchut Tol pada mung kwe ya gando da naga chuchut Tau ana bota awiyat tagwa tanki dora Jilo murat tonga buk sha unne nong Kava vol pa mulsling kuma nabak mulira Chune yun tun ji ji ai ta doana Ta va vo pa mo jue Kuma na Tune rana no prata dun kyo Sercha doma toma Ta va vo pa mo jue Kuma na Kim kon sha si ken Ne ken ko ta wish ma na wish Tonjo ne a hakko no Mule a yo nu na se Ji chi nui be doa na i ta u He 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 Ta wa na rota La bula na rinkis ma toma Inkin slimbo po do na mule a chikun No la runde a tunga ku un kabi
I'll stick with the bounties Davik puts out. What do you want now? This whole thing. Hate to 